Hey, now at normal speed. <laughs> yeah, today I'm going to show you the project, uh, the After Effects project for this effect here. And this is going to be an insect, not a step by step tutorial. Kinetic type series. Here we are in After Effects, and this is kind of simple. I have here a text layer with a beautiful sometimes times font applied. And this has uh, the effect, which is the displacement map, is the main thing here. The fast box, the levels and the fill are very secondary to this, to this uh, visual treatment or motion treatment. Uh, so the thing is that this displacement map is working from a layer which is like the exact same video but with some effects applied so that we have this very soft luminance map okay so we have the text layer we apply the displacement map and if we go here to the effect controls you see on the very top that we have this displacement map layer where we can point to any layer so that's the the main thing then i'm using it as a luminance here in the horizontal displacement here you see you have a lot of different options but i'm going for the luminance so that's kind of it if i change for example this value it is it, this is in pixels so it is going to make a more extreme displacement and then you also want to mess with these options here i i have it set to stretch map to fit so now the last thing which is very very let's let's play it because it's, this is very very satisfying <laughs> to watch so another thing that you need to bear in mind is that the video that is going to displace your letters or, or your type needs to be something interesting in terms of the motion that it it's happening in there. Something like I found interesting about this video by Sergei Makassin is that the movement is very, very appealing. So that's why I use this video and it's playful and it does all these interesting things to the type. Also, again, here you see that the, the, the map is all blurred out. So you need to tell the displacement map that is applied again to the to the letter that it needs to be affected by the effects and masks if you don't activate this option here it is not going to take into consideration the the effects applied applied there like the blur which is very very interesting because it really lets disable it so to say so if we i, I disable it you see how harsh it looks. This is interesting too, but I, I wanted to go with something that is very soft and very appealing to the eye. So I'm going to activate the fast box, box blur of the map again. And now I'm going to go inside the displacement map or the, the layer that it's creating this, this displacement to, to show you how I worked here. So it is uh, just, I wanted to extract uh, as much as possible you know the, the dancer or the talent from the background so I didn't succeed uh, completely but this is for me was like good enough I used this effect for Kane okay you can search in YouTube because there are a lot of uh, tutorials explaining this but what I wanted to, to have is like a very kind of simplified version of the video for the map so that's kind of it. Then, as always, I started like playing with overlying two options here and then like here is like three options, all them working at the same time, which I thought is like, yeah, you know, interesting. The last is like a more simplified version, but uh, with a different visual treatment with the video in black and white and inverted and I don't know it, you need to have fun 
and again leave in the comments i don't know i know that <laughs> one or two of you are going to ask for it uh, for the full tutorial but yeah i hope this helped just uh, as a sneak peek and a brief explanation of this effect but it is not that um, difficult at all uh, so you can you can if you follow this again you see this video again i really really uh, I really really think that you are going to make something amazing so go for it and see you in the next one Connect Connect